Hey guys, today I'm going to be making egg sausage and some pancakes. So let's get started. First, what you're going to need is some sausage, some eggs, and um, a pan, griddle, and pancake mix. So we got our pan out and um, we are going to be using butter for just so our eggs don't stick to the pan. So we're just going to turn on the stove. And at three. And I'm just going to stir the butter around. On the pan. Okay, we're going to grab our sausage and we're going to put it into the pan. And we're going to grab our tool. I'm just going to start smashing it up. Okay. Now, when the sausage is cooking, we're going to be cracking our eggs. Whoa. some shells really quick. I see a shell in there, so well so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be um, mixing up our eggs with our fork. We're gonna be putting our shell and pepper in and our splash of milk. So let's get mixing. splash of milk and then our salt and pepper. Oops. Okay. Now we're gonna grab our salt and pepper and then I'm gonna stir it again. Okay guys. Now when our sausage is done cooking, we are going to put it in um, some, we're going to put it in a bowl or something and we're just going to pour the eggs in and we're going to do spoonfuls and spoonfuls to make sure it is enough. So, okay, so we poured our sausage into a bowl. And now we're going to be pouring our scrambled eggs. I'm going to take the fork out. I'm going to be pouring it into the pan. And you don't need to clean the pan because you're going to put sausage in there anyway. So I'm just kind of mix that around. And you and we are going to put cheese in our eggs because and we're using Velveeta if you want to use that. So, yeah, and we're just going to mix and stir this up, and then later we're going to put that cheese on. So. Okay, now we're going to keep stirring our eggs, and we're going to have the, oven, or the stove at 3 degrees, and so it cooks and when like 
when you're done, when it kind of gets a consistency, um, we'll show you what that consistency is later, but it kind of gets a little harder, so it will be easier to, um, it will be, that's when we're going to put our cheese on, so. Now we're going to be adding our cheese, and this is a consistency that you, that we like to have it at, to add the cheese, so we're just going to lay it right down on top of it. So, you can just chop that up. And we'll be adding spoonfuls of the sausage here in a minute. So, after we just get this cheese all chopped up. So, now we're going to add the sausage in. Spoonfuls of sausage. One at a time, just to know, just to not make it that, just to not make it over, over sausagey. We have a lot of sausage, but we can also put the sausage on the side, or maybe we could use it next time. Now we're gonna turn our pan on low. I'm gonna let it sizzle a little, and we are gonna work on our pancakes. Now we're gonna, we need one cup, well, we're making 12 to 14 pancakes, so we're gonna need two cups of pancake mix. And sometimes you can, Go a little bit over, because we don't want four inch pancakes. That'd be boring. So, it's gonna have a little bit more there. So, now we have pretty nice pancakes. Now we're gonna grab our whole, um, one third cups of cold water. I'm gonna pour it into our mix. You might need a little more water because we did a little now more. I'm gonna grab our utensils uh, and we're gonna use our whisk right now. We're just gonna mix all the batter together. It's kind of like cake mix. And if, and if it's like a little too watery, you can always just add another scoop of pancake mix. Right, Mom? So, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to grab another scoop just to make it good. And that looks better. So, this is what you want it to look like. And we're going to let it sit for about a minute after we put our vanilla in. We're gonna let it sit for a minute. So we're gonna put a drop of vanilla in. We're gonna mix that in. It smells so good. So now, I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute. Okay. Have your mom and dad help you plug in the, um, the, the griddle to the wall. But I'm plugging mine in to the griddle and my mom's gonna help me plug it into the wall. In, we are gonna just, our batter, we're gonna let our batter sit for a few more, about maybe a minute. And we're gonna grab our ladle we have and we're gonna, we could, we're gonna scoop it onto the pan when, when it's ready. Okay. We are gonna turn our pan to 375 and you can run your hand over to make sure it's hot. And once you feel it's pretty hot, you're gonna take your ladle and you're gonna scoop some pancake mix out. And you're gonna put it on the pan. 
And then you're just going to keep doing that until your griddle is full. Okay, smell the air just to make sure you, if you smell stuff burnt, that's okay because I'm smelling stuff burnt. So you can just check your pancakes over time, make sure they're good. And so I just made, I just put that one. And I'm just gonna check this one. Just kinda make sure it's good. And then I guess I'm gonna flip it now. Whoa, that was on accident. Okay. We, uh, if it's smelling a little burnt, you can turn it down to the temp where, and I'd say 325. So, mm, it's, and then we're just gonna let it sit. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our, we're gonna grab a plate. But we're gonna be able to do more pancakes. So this is where we're gonna put our pancakes on a shiny plate. And these thing, these ones are pretty thick pancakes, so it might be a, it might have a little hard time cooking. But mm -hmm. okay, what we're gonna we like to make um our own maple syrup with um maple in, sugar, and some hot boiling water. So let's get started doing it. Okay, now. We're gonna add four. Um, so we're gonna have four of these of sugar. Um, four, so four and a half of cups in there. So. Okay. We're gonna need a half of teaspoon of maple. So, whoa, that's a little too much, but okay. Now, we accidentally added a little too much mapling, so we're just gonna make a double batch. So we're gonna do a little more sugar. And, and a little more work. Okay. I think our pancakes are pretty nice. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab them and we're gonna flip them onto our pan, our plate. Now we're gonna have, I would prefer an adult to pour your, um, your boiling water in. So my mom's gonna do that. Well, and we're just gonna mix it in with our whisk. Your stuff is gonna, your sugar should be dissolving while you are mixing the boiling water in. Okay, now we're gonna finish our batch of pancakes. Those last two were pretty jumpy, so. Ah, now it's stuck. Hopefully this one doesn't bounce. Like all the other ones. It's just... This one's a little stuck. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm teaching you guys to cook is because I want you guys to be able to cook for your guys' families. And so then they're happy when you are. So they're happy when they wake up. 